Hey, happy Wednesday to everyone today. We're going to continue in our commandments today as honor your father and your mother. This is the commandment with a promise. So here we go. Thanks for sharing a little time with Pastor Chet today. You see, we've been studying the Ten Commandments. No other gods, no idols. Don't take the Lord's name in vain. Remember the Sabbath and keep it holy. And today is honor your father and your mother. And this is the first commandment with a promise that's attached to it. That your days may be long in this land and that the Lord your God is giving you time here. One of the keys to societal stability is reverence and respect for parents and their authority. You see, it was not long before that that God's people were enslaved in Egypt. We've been talking about that last month. And God had set His people free. He had released them. And He had carried them to what He called the promised land. The land filled with milk and honey where they could worship God unashamedly till the land that God had given them all of their days. God does not expect society, however, to tolerate juvenile delinquency, which at heart is an overt disrespect for parents. That's John MacArthur's words in there, and I love that. He's not going to accept or tolerate juvenile delinquency. And when society begins to allow total disrespect for authority, our days are shortened. Parents, you have a responsibility, we have a responsibility to give our children an example that they can choose to respect. In other words, live a life surrendered to God. Dads, one of the best ways that you can be an example to your kids is to love your kid's mom. Show her the respect and the love. Sacrifice for her. Give her. Moms, love and respect the husband, the father God provided for you. Families, choose to be involved in your local church, worshiping God and serving one another. You see, children will be and do more of what they see than what they're told. So moms and dads, honor your parents so that you can be the example to our children to honor us. By the way, we get to live in the land God promised each one of us. Will you join me in prayer? Father, thanks. Thanks that you gave us a promise and that you ask us to respect the authority that you put in front of us. Father, I pray for every family that hears this message, that we'd be the example that you've called us to be men. Love your wives as Christ loved the church and sacrifice for it. And that's my prayer for us as we learn to love family. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Hey, see you guys this weekend, Saturday at 5 on the Sweetwater campus at our modern service. Sunday at 8, our McCulloch classic service. Or Sunday at 9, 30, and 11 on our Sweetwater campus for our modern services. Or if you're in the Parker area, show up Sunday at 11 at Alumni Hall. Let's get together and worship the Lord together as a family. God bless you.